Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode two of my collection playthrough and my Jerboa does not know how to ride on shoulders. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. But this is the, the little lake I was talking about. Uh, let's see. We look at our map. Yeah, just uh, basically follow the beach there. And the Redwoods is right there. Literally right next to it. There's a, there's actually a lot of places around here to build. There's a good amount of resources. We have easy access to the redwoods, which is awesome. And uh, there is a tech para up there I might want. Uh, let's see. And it's relatively flat around here, as I say as I'm going up a hill. But if we go all the way up here, then it definitely flattens out. But the downside of that is it's right at the base of the cliff to the redwoods, and stuff occasionally falls off. All right, come on, Para. What are you? 403. All right. You guys go to neutral. Hey. Thank you much. And down. The Huntsman is a lot better about taking things down. Uh, yeah, I don't need to give it... You know, I'll just give it... Get a couple hundred here. I mean, it's not going to need it, obviously, but... Better to be safe than sorry. Alright, so yeah, I mean, up here... This is the flattest spot here, but like I said, there's that ridge right there, and predators will sometimes fall down. Uh, terror birds and so on and so forth. Uh, nothing huge like a Rex or anything, though. Now, here's a question. Okay, you you need to quit following me after I had you on follow. Actually, here. You guys all come this way. All right. I, at this point, I'm curious to see if I can knock out an ankylosaur with a boomerang or if it's going to kill it. I'm thinking uh, it's probably going to knock it out, honestly. Oh yeah, it's down. 324 ankylosaur, that's not bad, actually. Granted, I'm nowhere near being able to actually build a saddle for it, but uh, it'd be nice to have in the meantime. Here we go. Okay, so I do have some level ups here. I got five. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and start doing oxygen, actually. I, I swim extremely slowly right now. But we were at basically level 19 at the end of the last episode. Uh, level 20 is where the fun and stuff really, you know, comes in. Item collector, numerous display, and we can make a smithy and a refining forge. We can get trank arrows now. Uh, more stuff from additional lighting. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. And stone tier stuff. Which, here is the keep level. Wow, you're going by fast. Is there something over there that's angry, or did you, like... Actually, it's a galley, it fell from up there. They don't spawn down here, they spawn in the redwoods. So, hey, how you doing? 25.5%, okay. You have already lost a level, right? 403 would be, what, 201. So, and actually, no, you haven't, okay. Trying to do taming math is a little interesting at times, but uh, I got everything packed up. I managed to avoid the tech wrecks, which is very helpful, actually. So, I mean, I have some resources. Can we make a smithy or a forge, though? No, we are short on stone. Well, we seem to have actually a good amount of stone around us here. It's just going to take a little while to, to harvest it up with a stone axe, but 
you know, you do what you gotta do, right? Even if it does, you know, take forever and a day to do this. And I'm cold now. Hooray. I could make hide armor. But I'm not that worried about it right in a second. Alright, now can we get the forge? Yes. And... Well, these guys are taming up. Let's go this way here. I do need, rem need to remember I am being followed by a couple dilos. Um, so I tamed up two more dilos and I lost two since last episode. We were uh, taking care of dodos and somehow managed to hit a turtle, which led to two more, actually three more turtles in the area coming after me. And they're all dead now, but I did lose a couple of low level dilos. I lost the female we tamed at the end of the last episode. And then I had like a level 48 male I tamed up because he was there. And he, yeah, lasted like five seconds against those turtles. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm thinking here. Kind of like this area. Can I, how easily can I get up here? Like here? Yeah, I can't, but, uh, here we can. Okay. And we've got a somewhat decent view. Do I really want to build right here, though? Or do I want to build a little further down? Uh, down that way. Over there. Because there's metal nodes that spawn, right? I mean, you can actually see one right at the top of my parasaur's head that uh, I probably shouldn't prevent from spawning in or respawning. There's some down by the lake, too, which is why I'm not down there. I might eventually, you know, do something there. I actually, at one point in time, I had an idea of uh, turning that lake there into basically a little nature preserve, but uh, that was just me goofing around on Valgaro without actually recording for for YouTube, so. Alright, where are you at? 53? Okay. You are at 8.7. You're going to take a long time. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave you guys here. I should be fine. You know, on my own, on foot. I mean, if nothing else, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of herbivores I can... Let's stick a carnivore on in the meantime, you know, while it's trying to come get me. But I mean, even like Dylos and Compies don't spawn up here. Which makes it rather nice, actually. But yeah, up here... Up here I think could work, right? Because there's really no metal that spawns in on this section. But uh, there might be a, a couple spots. Yeah, I'm thinking right about where these rocks here are is where I'm going to end up setting up shop at. Nothing else than taking all this out will give me plenty of stone to work with, which will help. Well, it'll help start everything. Ooh, take Stego. Hey, you. You're level 120, huh? Guess what? You're like the only four-legged thing that bullets work on. And you're down. And really, the only reason you ever tame pigs is for the poo. I mean, really, that's that's it. Uh, they can't even feed themselves. They can't harvest berry bushes. They can only hit trees, really, for, uh... For that... Yeah, you're gonna need more than that, but I don't really care about your level, so you can just tame up on these other berries once you get done with that. You, on the other hand, what are you? Besides being a Textago. 273. Okay. So, yeah, let's not annoy you quite yet. But, I mean, there are just tons of herbivores around here. Like, the only carnivore up here is a Pteranodon, which is kind of nice. But nasty things do occasionally come off that cliff there and, and munch on things. 
You're still not tamed up, huh? Really? I mean, their food drops stupidly quick, so it's... And non major berries are eaten every 20 food, so... At this rate, you know, I should probably just go ahead and get some more major berries, because they are appreciably faster when it comes to teaming these things up. I got one. All right. Here. Still just one. You can have all these, right? Hello, Drake. 132. Yeah. You're not that great. All right, but there's uh, easy access to light cliffs. There's relatively easy access to the uh, redwoods. There's kind of a winding path behind the lake that'll actually take you up into the redwoods, which is handy. Or you can just go down to that end and and then up. Hey, there you go. All right. Now, yeah, I think that's where we're going to end up setting up at. But right now I'm kind of constrained by the fact that uh, I am taming a couple of things. Two, two, eight. Nah, you're going to really take too long. Don't want to bother right this second. Are you? Oh my god, you're slow. Alright. Another Fayamiya here. Level 48. You know what? Okay, good. It's making sure that that Biomia wasn't going to go after the one I just knocked out. Uh, I'm going to need to get a lot of fertilizer here soon. So having these guys around is going to help. A lot. Because uh, another mod I forgot to mention in the last episode was the uh, the Better Farming mod by Nakatos, who originally made this map, too. I'm starving. Great. Thank you. Also, I'm going to need a drink here soon. So... Here, everybody, quit following. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nakata's also the one creating Fjorda right now, so. Awesome map maker, really. But uh, Fjorda is still, you know, early beta, if that, really. Probably close to alpha. And we're not talking, like, you know, arc early beta, all that fun stuff. You know, it's like a real traditional early beta. All right, so come down here. We get ourselves a drink of water. Have some more lamb chops. And but yeah, Fiomia, they can only gather thatch, which is just like makes them arguably, if it wasn't for the uh, the poop, they would be probably the most useless dinosaur. I got a average health pool, decent-ish weight. The downside is they are slow. So, I mean, that's definitely a problem there. Um, I mean, I just, I outran that one without a problem on foot. Um, and they can only gather thatch, yeah. I mean, they're, they exist simply to have something big to get meat and uh, hide off of. They're not even really that big either. I mean, maybe like seven foot at the shoulder. And it's like the world's smallest elephant's what it is. Yeah, that's the only reason you're around. Of course, we've got this one over here now too. Tamed up relatively quickly. 
So we're getting ourselves a, a bit of a menagerie here. Um, yeah, probably good at 4,000 health for now. Alright, so now we're just waiting on an Enkylo to team up, huh? Um, yeah, your percentage is going up quicker than your Torpor is dropping. So what we're going to do is... Everybody follow me. Two Dylos, two Peomia, a Parasaur. There's my tech para. Okay. Might as well gather some Thatch and stuff. And man, Fiomia complains so much when you make him run. They're like Dodos. Dodos just complain non-stop if they have to run anywhere. Alright, and... Yep, those rocks right there. And as always, the Dylos are like the slowest things I have. Can't really do much about it, though. All right, let's get, I uh, don't have my thing yet. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the thatch walls for now, but definitely, definitely this foundation for now. So that way I have a place to put my refining forge. And uh, scrap metal, pull, I got nine of those. Metal, I've got two. But that'll make 10 ingots worth of metal, so. I mean, it's not not horrible. Uh, let's just do 15 wood for now, I think. Go ahead and get that thing kicked on. And you can level up as well here. You can have some more health. There's not really a spawn point close to here, so that's probably not a bad idea to, to put that down. And for the most part, I'm not worried about anything else here. Um, let's go ahead and try pulling for a smithy, though. I am missing four stone. Okay. Son of a... There. Okay. Smithy. Pull. Done. And... Weapons, melee... Uh, pick. Definitely want that first. And how much am I short for this? Yeah, four ingots. Okay. Here you and you can just go away for now. All right. Um. Let's get another pair of swords out made up. So that way, at least my uh, my tech pair is somewhat protected. And probably Fiomia saddle. It's only six points. Hello, over raptor. Oh, galley. Sorry. Oh, why well, I thought you were an over raptor. All right, there you go. There you go. You did equip, right? Yeah. Okay. And for now, we're just going to have everybody unfollow you. And there you are. Level 600 tech para, though. I mean, sure, yeah, why not? Something else I should probably learn, though, is the reusable torch. Uh, this one. Which is going to be here. Don't have any damn stone. All right, let's try that again. Now the trade-off on the reusable torch is it never burns out, which is good, but it doesn't provide any heat, and you cannot set things on fire with it. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna ride off into this uh, little canyon here. Can't really call this a canyon now, can we? Uh, it's more like a like a draw or something. And I don't think I can attach the reusable torch to a saddle, or if I can't actually no, I think I think that if I do, that is when it loses durability. 
Mm, bit of a trade off there. All right, and we got all sorts of things down here, but here is our metal. And there's actually, I think, five or six of these nodes down here. So it should definitely, definitely help here. Should be able to make all, this, all the metal tools for now anyway. Because right now I don't really need a lot of metal, but uh, I'm going too soon. Actually, as soon as I level up another level, I can start making a crossbow, which would probably be a good idea, honestly. But I also need to start stockpiling metal when I get into the steampunk mod, because it's going to need a lot to start off with. And then after a while, it'll start providing it provides its own ways of harvesting the materials, which are arguably better. Nobody likes a pushy butthead. I swear, freaking Tyranodons, man. No sense of self preservation whatsoever. Just making sure I don't clip the Bronto's tail because that would not end well. There we go. And uh, we're at 385 metal so far. But yeah, you can see there's a couple more over there. And I think there's a Triceratops in my way. There might be one more over this way as well. And then there's like another at least half a dozen down by the lake. So decent amount of metal all within relatively close range. Definitely within running distance. Oh, come on. You can't fit through that? Come on, turn. Thank you. You can go that way, though. All right. That trend on is stuck. You're even laying eggs in there. You've been stuck that long, huh? You're 348 and your mate boosted. Probably gonna kill it doing this. Wow, I didn't. Oh, hey, the Northern Lights are out. Cool. Um, that is actually like too good of a trend on to pass up for right now. Uh, yeah, no, I can't get up that way. Okay, so let's go grab some mutton. Can I seriously not access it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's what I'm seeing. Really, I can't. Because you're in the rock, pretty much, right? But now, yep, now I can. Here. 25% per mutton. Unfortunately, it had only, yeah, about one, one and a half. I mean, look how bright it is here. Now. Actually, let's game it up. This is regular gamma here. And that's how bright this map gets at night, which is awesome. I love it. I mean, when you have a gigantic full moon that size, you know, that close. On a clear night, yeah, this is how bright it should be. I mean, dark maps are more, quote, atmospheric, but when you're recording for YouTube, 
atmospheric has to make way for, you know, visibility. Alright, yeah, you're going to take it a little bit, aren't you? Uh, how is our little Anki buddy doing? Also, I need to clear off some of these. There we go. 47% uh, tamed. 99.4%, okay. And uh, we've still got a lot of unconsciousness to go yet. And, yeah, the Trinodon's going to take, oh, probably another three or four minutes. Why do I have seven out of ten track tames? That is, it bugs out sometimes, and I'm not sure why. Right, so, you should be eating, yeah, here, when this, once this hits 81.10, it'll eat again. Wow, I did actually almost no damage to this thing, though. That is awesome. Oh, uh, we had a, a button spoil already, too. But, oh, we're halfway tamed, and the moon is starting to set. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and camp it back up for now, then. Eh, we'll just do... We'll do this. Alright, oh, I should have dropped off the metal on me when I was over there. Dang it. But hey, early Trinodon, almost max level, I'll take it. Thing just had the bad luck to spawn inside of a boulder. Alright, well it just became morning, and I am making up some Dilo backpacks from the... This is the Dino Hoarders TLC crafting bench. Because I figured, you know, everybody else has got a saddle so far. Might as well uh, get my dialos equipped up here too. Oh hey, they're even laying eggs. Alright, so you can get that. And you have some more levels. You can have a level of that as well. And here, let's just, uh, we're going to take all this away from you. And we're going to take that away from you. There we go. And that way I can put some of this stuff away where it's not going to, uh, like, decay on me and whatnot. And something else I want to get my hands on now is a whip. Also from Lethal's Reusables, but... It's going to be a good way of getting my hands on, say, some fiber. So the trend on... Oh, did not mean to make you, uh, walk... Okay, yep, yeah. no, let's not hit you. But uh, yeah, it didn't make me to make the trend on walk forward, but it is uh, it is fully awake. Oh, geez, that was close. And uh, ready to kick butt here. Uh, actually came out with some pretty decent stats, too, when you get down to it. Uh, here. Let's go ahead and pull in some raw, raw meat for you here. Um, how about about 50 for now? There we go. Yeah, 3,200 health. Wow, I'm actually super cold here. Uh, 323 weight, 800 stamina. So, I mean, not bad. Almost a thousand on melee damage, too. Uh, let's go ahead. Maybe desert armor would be better for me right now. Which is level 28. Uh, I thought it was level 24 for some reason. Oh, I'm only level 25. So I'm just going to have to make do, I guess, with the... Uh, I can make hide armor, but I don't really feel like it. There we go. And our ankylosaur is at 73%, so... There you go. Make sure everything survives a while, you know, a while. Uh, let's see, and you guys leveled up. Did you have anything? Oh, you did. Look at you. Uh, here, let's go ahead and give you a little more weight. Ah, that's probably one of the reasons I'm cold. Um, you know what, let's pull some thatch. I'll worry about making charcoal later. But I can now make my, uh, my hatchet. There's that, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a crossbow as well.
and everything is starting to get a little bit better anyway. Uh, let's put that there where the spear was, right? And first things first, we're going to need more stone, right? I'm basically going to be making a, uh, a stone building. So, going to need a lot of this stuff. And unfortunately, it's going to be collecting by hand for now. There we go. Stam Stego, I swear. Level 348, too. So. Not like it's something I could take out in a hurry, if need be. Alright, let's get this put away. And I want this. The set or villager table, not settler. There we go. <laughs> 273 text Dago too. Oh, that's going to be a downside around here. I can see that already. Alright, so if I want to get a foundation, uh, we're looking at 80 stone per foundation right now. Not ideal, but I mean, I can, I can work with it. Just means I'm going to be using my hatchet here quite a bit. And I'm almost out of water again. That's one foundation's worth of stone so far. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. So right now I'm using my smithy as like an impromptu storage. But uh one downside right here is there's no water supplies like close by. And there's really nothing around here that can break stone for me. Uh, if, if I could come across like a camera sword, that could help quite a bit. But uh, I haven't seen any of those. Not around here. You find camera swords more often in the redwoods. Which uh, I'm not going into right now. I am not geared up to go, oh, world safe, into the redwoods at all right now. So... Uh, it's just going to have to be something we put off for a bit. Uh, here, give me some of these, would you? That should hopefully fill up my water a little bit. Yeah, I just thought it'd go up to like 2.1. Berries are definitely very much a time release water supply. Alright, uh, let's go down the lake though and kind of take a tour around it real quick now that it's technically morning. I mean, it's definitely extremely bright out, but uh, the old saying is red sky in morning, sailors take warning. Yeah. Definitely seems like it'd be a good day for that saying. But might get lucky and find like a camera sore around here. Smaller sauropod. Uh, nice thing is you do not need a saddle to uh, to ride one. And they can break stone and wood for you. Oh, hey, there's another tech para over here. What do we have? We have a female. Okay. Yeah, here's more, more metal, which is why I didn't want to set up a base down here. There's like three or four or five, maybe six lumps in here. Kind of ballparking because I can't remember off the top of my head, and I don't think I ever actually sat down and and made sure to count all of it. Hey, you. You're a 259 male. Eh. I mean, really? Oh yeah, yeah. Do your little panic roar thing. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to kill it. One more. There we go. Alright, awesome. Go away. Probably shouldn't be harassing all the triadons, but 
Oh well. Hey, there's Hesperornis in the water. I haven't tamed a Hesperornis in such a long time, too. That's going to be a thing. Yeah, if we come up back here on this side, you can see how kind of the ground slopes up. And uh, don't really want to head to the Redwoods right now, but you can go up this way, and then it kind of cuts back, and then it switches back again, and then you can get up. I mean, it's not like the quickest way into the Redwoods, but I mean, it, it sure beats walking down to where that I, the little island is in the, in the lake and doing it that way. But yeah, there's more metal over here too. Unfortunately, yeah, there's a lot of metal over here, by the way. Definitely a good spot for a base. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any camera sores. Um, really, I, if I could piss one off and get it to chase me away from the Redwoods, that probably wouldn't be horrible. And... Camera sore. Alright, now please be a decent level. Uh, get your tail... Out of here. There's, well, there's two of them to choose from here. Ah, oh, they're both gonna aggro though. They they do protect each other. Right. So you are what? One thirty-two. Okay. What is your friend over here? Can can you not? Thank you. Your friend here is one twenty. Okay. And we have some Edmontosaurus here. We got Europasaurus, which that's a passive tame, I think. So I mean, it'd be pretty easy to get my hands on a Europasaur, but uh, yeah, they're not that useful. All right, turn a bit more and quit. Oh, are you just out of range of the boomerang? Oh, that is kind of sort of slightly annoying. There we go. Come on, camera sore. Let's go flying. Not looking you need to go down that way, huh? Okay, now you're coming down. Hey, now you're down there and I'm up here. Well, that works out. They take extra torpor from headshots or not. Now here comes the fun part, right? Yeah, I can definitely outrun it on the uh, on the Parasaur, because all I have to do is stop, wait for it to do that, and then because of how long that animation is, it's not a, really an issue at all. But uh, I would really rather not try to tame this thing on the Parasaur right now. Go passive, go passive. Come on, follow me. Now, downside, these things can uh, destroy stone structures without a problem, so... Well, I shouldn't say without a problem. I mean, they don't do, like, tons of damage to them. But, uh... They can hurt them, so... Now here comes the fun part. It's Torpor running. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, and there's now a stupid pig in the way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right in the Achilles tendon. Come on. No, get away from the Bronto. And it's asleep. All right. One thing I've had an issue with before in the past is if you get a high enough level uh, camera sword and they don't put it, you know, have enough points assigned to health, you can easily kill them with a boomerang while trying to knock them out. As it was, I almost did anyway. So here, you can have those, and I will uh, go scrunch up some more stuff for you here. Tame to Camrosaur. Now, Camrosaur is basically, well, they have a C attack, which is, they kind of sing at you. But it's left click, double stomp. And all they get is stone, no flint, no metal, just just the stony goodness here. And then right click is a mule kick. Alright, let's uh give you a little more melee damage, I guess, first. I would like to be able to destroy these rocks in like one hit. But this is going to make making a base so much easier. Actually having something that can harvest stone for me. Now I don't believe it's getting a weight. Actually it might be. Nope. No weight reduction on stone. Okay. Uh, I'm using an HG stacking mod. So it's uh, it 10,090 I think. And then if you attack trees with this, you actually get wood. Now the mule kick gathers berries. Downside is, you know, it only affects the area behind you. Hey. In case we're doing 200 damage, that's uh, not terrible, really. And if you need that, you can mule kick a tree, so. I just leveled up too. Why did I level up? I don't know. I'm not really gonna argue on that one, uh, but here, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get our oxygen up. Okay, we're level 26 now. Anything good at 26? Uh, water jar. That would be awesome, actually. Workstation atmospheric hydro water jug. Crop plot. Uh, yeah, I should go ahead and learn that. Uh, uh, yeah. Stone bits, stego saddle, flame arrow. Uh, level 25 is where you get a lot of interesting things. Um, bunch of steampunk furniture. The better farming, uh, different things for that, uh, which is kind of spread out, it looks like. Crop plot and farmland. There's a kitchen, sprinkler, water intake. There's a tree plot. You can actually grow trees, which is awesome. Cooking pot, which is used to actually make the kitchen. And I don't think this is placeable by itself, though, unfortunately. It'd be kind of cool if it was, but... But now I've got a ways to uh, ways to go yet on harvesting stone. I need stone, wood, and thatch for for the settlers' buildings. And it's not the greatest of gathering berries, but it can at least feed itself. I mean. Oh. One of my biggest annoyances with a lot of creatures is they they can't feed themselves. That's not a lot, but it's enough that, yeah, it, it can be a constant annoyance with certain creatures. I like Fiamias. They, yeah, they suck at it. I mean, look at all this awesomeness going on here. Tons of stone. But also, look at the size difference here between the Bronto and the Camrosaur. I mean, the Camrosaur really is just a tiny sauropod. I mean, there are smaller ones, but... Yeah. There's also a lot bigger ones, too. 
We have the Arc Editions mod in, the collections, and it actually has a Brachiosaurus. Yeah, that is a giant beastie. Uh, here, you can, you know what, you can just have all those Tinted Berries. Just gonna check the level that turn it on, and I was like, yeah, I need to quit getting sidetracked with teaming up anything that I like the levels of. All right, so some of that. So what I can do now, though, is hopefully, can I make, I really, I, I can make six. I don't have enough wood. Okay. But the camera store taming worked out pretty good. So let's uh, start doing a bit of an outline here, I think. Oh, you are following me. Don't do that. A 120 Bronto. Yeah, I don't have strong enough creatures to take that out easily, especially since uh, there's one there that might come and help. That one I think is too far away. That one's probably close enough to be a nuisance. There's four Brontos up here on this plateau, though. There's way too damn many. That is the thing I've noticed about the Valgaro is in the uh, the easier areas, you end up being just inundated with Brontos. There we go. So I'm gonna get to uh, get to collecting resources. Uh, wood's gonna be a little fun to collect up here, but stone is gonna be yeah, we're gonna be. Really easy. Not extremely easy, but I mean, all right. Let's go ahead and up our melee damage again. I'd love it if I could one-shot the stones because this attack does take a little bit to pull off. Hey, there we go. Tree be gone. And that tree's probably never going to respawn now. Which I'm okay with. Wow, you can actually watch the experience gauge go up on the camera store there. It actually gets a decent amount of experience for doing this. Which is good, because... Uh, can use the help. So, uh, some time has passed. <laughs> Quite a bit of time, actually. I made a new friend. I got myself a, a Bonguela. These things are... Funny enough, they're actually shoulder pads here. I mean, and I, I put some buildings up. But yeah, that's a shoulder pet. Uh, Bonguelas, they excel at, well... Gathering honey. As you can tell from the little beak there. Yeah. Perfect for getting into bees' nests without, you know, getting stung and whatnot. So, this guy is going to come in handy. Basically, you just uh, toss him from your shoulder, whistle attack my target on a hive, he'll go up, peck at it, and uh, store the honey in his gullet, which you have to be certain that uh, he's well fed before you do that, because he will suck down the honey like no tomorrow. Also, they are a severe pain to tame. This one took about 2,000 narco berries because their torpor goes down just so quick. Uh, let's see. But yes. I built a house. And a workshop. Let's look at this first. Uh, this is where I decided to put my different crafting stations, so on and so forth. Um, I probably should learn a few other things to be made in here. I've only learned spark powder and narcotics so far. Uh, survivor scent probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Stimulant. Uh, survivor scent, concoction created with a mild sedative and a scent, as, scent of a survivor, can be used to mask the smell of a creature to that of its tamer. Doing so disassociates a creature from its wild allies and removes hostility towards any other creature that shares the aroma. So, 
Yeah, I can make a, a creature smell like me and make it a little friendlier towards me, I think, is how that works. I'm not sure. I've never actually used it before. Uh, cementing paste is probably a good thing to have, though. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get those because they're free. Same with that. Uh, the converter would be great. A compost bin. I'd need to get started with that ASAP, really. Gunpowder. Definitely important. Bug repellent. Uh, eventually it will be. That's free. Uh, let's see. Nigisaurus Acrophysetter and the Great Hammerhead Shark. Uh, let's see, a converter well would be handy eventually too. Place blueprints or equipment in this to convert them into reusable variants. Requires power. Mm, yeah, level 20 is a little early to be learning that, but... Appreciate the thought. Propellant, that was the other thing I wanted to learn. So, uh, the things I can make here are pretty limited right now actually. I uh, made up all the spark powder I can. I'm now out of flint. I'm making all the narcotics that I can. Which, that was it for my spoiled meat. So I need to work on that a bit. Uh, eventually, I'm not going to be able to use my boomerang for everything. But, uh... I forgot you still had meat in you, actually. Here. And I've got a feeding trough down here, which I've been feeding... My, uh, my carnivores cooked meat because uh, it lasts longer and it has a bit of a healing effect to it when they eat it. So, it's kind of handy. Not gonna lie. Uh, here, let's put this in here. I need a meat spoiler. Which, there is one from the uh, Steampunk mod, actually. Uh, but... Turns out that building stuff with castles, keeps, and forts, is, it gives you a lot of levels, really. So I should be able to make myself some uh, Pteranodon saddles now. And seeing as I've got two Pteranodons, well... They both were uh, both female, both level 348. And... There we go. Where's the other one at? Where is my other Pteranodon at? Uh oh. Lost it. Oh, well, hey, I just leveled up. Um, right. Where did I leave the other one at? Okay, well, there's. There it is. Let's see, there's my tech parasaur as well. Um, yeah, you can have some more stamina. And let's go ahead and go get our tech para and bring it up front. Alright. The other thing I should be able to do here soon is actually, I can probably do it now, make an Enkylo saddle. Oh, you've still got a lot of stuff on you too. Well, it's just berries, but... Uh, this is the inside of the house so far. I didn't really touch on it the last time I walked through the door. Uh, this is the ground floor. I think this is going to be the bedroom back here. And we have a staircase going up because... I figured, why not? <laughs> it just costs stone, thatch, and wood, which is not the easiest thing to gather, but having a camera sort really helps. Because uh, it can harvest pretty much all that. And that, that Diplo is still there, and this is like three or so hours later. <laughs> uh, this here is basically just wood, honestly. Wow. My fist hits like a bullet hole. But yeah, then I've got basically just this little area here. I think this is where I'm going to actually park my pteranodons. It's kind of up here. And that ladder is just for easy access to them. And, and this will work to, uh, to keep them off the ground anyway. And hopefully away from things that want to eat them. There's a pteranodon on the cliff side right there too. But away from things that want to eat them, I've already had, uh, let's see, I had an Enostra Sevilla pop down on me, and I had a 348 Thyla come down here. And, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, pretty much everything survived. I did lose the uh, Thyamia. Uh, there was a low-level one I tamed, but I, uh, I tamed up uh, this one here, which was a 228, I think, wild. Oh, hey, another egg for me. Thank you. I don't want your poo yet. 
Thank you, but uh, no, I'll pass. All right, let's get the egg put away here. And I'm up to nine dialo eggs so far, so I could start making kibble here soon. All right. So level up for me. No more weight. Level 41, anything good there? Uh, Paris or saddle, metal tanks. Oh, hey, I didn't check out level 40 when I leveled up. Uh, let's see, that's probably, yeah, I'll go to the mannequin too, it's, it's free. Not something I use very often, but I might. It's a pretty decent way of showing off armor, really, but that's about it. So let's go to our smithy here and see if I can make myself an Ankylo saddle. Hey, look at that, I can. Awesome. Yeah, fiber, hide, and metal. That's pretty basic. Still have not gotten myself a moss chop, so. Alright, but that's pretty much everything that can have a saddle is now saddled up. Um, yeah, you can have some more weight to you as well, I think. So I have a way to get metal now, which is awesome. And flint, which is even better because I need spark powder. But the main thing that's missing from this house right now, and the fact that this looks like a, a face of a, you know, of a type, is I need crystal. And... There's some not terribly far away from here but it's not really all that close either uh, let's see yeah on the map it's not really showing it because I haven't explored that much of the map yet um, it's probably a little bit of a 10 minute hike away the problem is it's relatively dangerous so I would rather not you know get into something I can't deal with right now so I need some sort of carnivore Downside of where I'm at. There are no good carnivores. Or apparently... Uh, 324. That's a stego. Dang it. Uh, there's a lot of trinodons around here, but there's no high-level males. Which... I want to get into some breeding here. And it'd be nice to have a high-level male. Oh, hey, you leveled up. Sweet. No more melee damage, please. And you can have... Uh, let's go a little more melee. This is my, my thatch para, really. I mean, the camera sword can do thatch, but the, the parasaur does a better job at it. So, ah, uh, yeah. Let's do one thing here before I head out. Uh, let's make an Eco's RP bench. That's the, yeah, furniture and decor crafting table right there. That's the one I want for now. As soon as it crafts up, there we go. That can go there. Now I also want to go ahead and make myself a LWRP decor. Lady Werewolves for uh, role-playing decor. And Akka's interior, please. And wasn't there a peachy table too? Did I leave that in or did I not leave peachy in? I did not leave peachy in. Okay, well, just the two then. There's that, and then yeah, let's go to this side of the window here. There we go. So what do we have for beds? Furniture, um, table of the cloth. This is the LWRP bench here. I've got a ruined bed. No, I'll pass on that. Got a fancy bed. Eh, not worked here. So I've got two beds to choose from here. Okay, okay. what was that? What's this? Oh, a double bed. With a canopy, even. Okay, sold. Alright. That's actually what we get says. And you place it from the side, which is odd. Alright. There we go. And I can even lay on the bed. Not like you can really see, though. Is there a, uh, make a premium pass trouble late? Okay, no. There's no way to close the curtains, which is a bit unfortunate. That'd be kind of cool if you could. Hmm. 
Just looking at the uh, the spread out there, bedspread. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, here you can have some of that. Let us, I guess, what would be a good mount? Right now, with what I've got going on, ah, uh, something I could bola and something that'll go down to a boomerang. It's really not a huge list. Uh, let's see. What to do here? Hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode because I have severely lost track of how long I've done this. You are at 132. Yeah, you're not even that worth it. Wow. You glitch out in the fog, don't you? But, uh, I'm going to go through the list of available creatures and, uh, see what I can tame up. I might end up just taming an Ostaraptor. Actually, it'd probably be my best bet. But uh, there's really not a, any around here. So to do that, they're, they're passive tame. So I get to use... I thought I made a... Uh, oh no, I was going to make the, the kibble... Or not kibble, but the food bait station. This one here. And when I went to do it, I was out of spark powder. So it's like, oh yeah, I need that. There we go. And inventory. So probably make up some mutton bait, honestly. Should have enough of everything for that. But yeah, I'll get some of that made up. And uh, next episode, we'll be on the beach trying to tame an Ostaraptor. I'm going to be doing that. How about we, uh, we go ahead and get ourselves an Ostaraptor saddle first? Nice thing about these guys, I don't have to worry about knocking them out or anything like that. I could be extremely choosy. And uh, overall, it's a very decent mount, actually, just for getting around anyway. And it gathers fiber, so I don't have to worry about replacing my moss chops quite yet. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.